Buramu. Welcome to the Ndere Center and to Uganda's healthiest game show. I am Abe Nchibi. And uh, I am Irene Kulabako and you're watching The Good Life Show. Uh, the show is brought to you by Afford with support from the United States Agency for International Development. The Good Life Show is all about the simple things you can do uh, to keep healthy and save money. It's all about fun, winning prizes, learning more about your health for you and your family, okay? So let's be ready and let's meet our contestants. And now I'd like to know who you are, what, what's your name, what you do, and where you come from. I'm Sarah Nacheje. Mm -hmm. I'm from Buya. Mm -hmm. I work in the salon. I'm Rashid Sevanda. Uh -huh. I'm from Buya. Mm -hmm. Businessman. My name is Gayemba Abudu. Uh -huh. I'm in Mbara Chizungu. I'm motion with Okay, like, all right. I'm calling Nakabugo Madina from Mbarara. I'm a business woman. I'm Chene Ismaili from Baise. I'm a soldier man. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Welcome, Afande. Yeah. I'm Namaganda Amina from Baise. I'm a housewife. I'm called Waiso Arafat from Mbuya. My work is metal casting and fabrication. Okay, and? I'm called Dubuza Justin. Dubuza Shamina. <laughs> Shamina? Mm hmm. I, I came from Bia. <laughs> okay, welcome. Let's give them a round of applause. Welcome them to the... Uh, Each week, you will have the chance to win some fantastic prizes. Even you at home can be a winner. All you have to do is answer this question. What are the three components that make a balanced diet? By calling our free telephone line, one, two, three, four, for UTL and Celtel, and 0800-200-200 MTN. You have the chance to win our weekly prize and enter our grand prize draw for a Toyota pickup worth 58 million Uganda shillings, donated by Toyota Uganda and IAA Healthcare. To be a winner on today's show, we're going to ask you to do three things. We're going to ask you to think, talk, and act on your knowledge of childcare. Proper child care of the little ones will help prevent diseases and also save you lots and lots of money. The first round of the show is the bonus round. I will be firing general knowledge questions to you. This is your chance to get ahead of the game. Each question wins five points. You have only 10 seconds. Therefore, you need to think fast. First question. Who sang Bada? Sir. Bobby Wine. Bobby Wine. Thank you very much. You win five points. What is NEMA in full? National Environmental Management Authority. Congratulations, Arafa. What is Comesa in full? Comesa. Ah. Common markets for Eastern and Southern Africa. Sorry, guys. Former President Godfrey Binaisa was Ugandan, Uganda's Attorney General from 1962 to 67. Is it false or true? Truth. It's the truth. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you win five points. What is URA in full? You smile. Uganda Revenue Authority. Uganda Revenue Authority. What is the name of the first mobile phone company in Uganda? Medina. Seltel. Seltel. Seltel, yes. What is EAC in full? East African community. Uganda is the third largest producer of bananas after India. Is it true or false? False. Five points to Rashid and Sarah. They win us. Who sang? Tinati. Lady Mariam Namkasa. Lady Mariam Namkasa. Thank you very much. Five points. Now it's time to find out what we really need to know and think about when looking after our children. For this particular section, I won't ask you to press the buzzers. I'll be directing the questions to the ladies first and then come round and, and ask the men as well. For every correct answer, you'll earn yourself five points. Okay, and you still have 10 seconds within which to give me the answer. Are we clear? Question one to you, Sarah. Why do we immunize our children? 
to prevent against the six killer diseases. Okay, there are actually eight. You earn yourself five points. How many times is a child immunized in the first nine months of its life? There are nine. There are nine? Are you sure? Okay, that's an incorrect answer. They actually immunized five times. Child care, whose responsibility is it? Mother. It's actually both parents, both of you. Name any three signs of illness of a child that need immediate attention from a health worker. There was no eating. Uh huh. If the child is not eating, good. There was no. <laughs> well, I asked for three, you gave me one, so I will give you just one point. Question five, now we're coming to you, Rashid. What three components make up a balanced diet? The Fat. food groups. Mm -hmm. Fats, yeah. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Vitamins. Vitamins, correct. What age should your child be when you begin to introduce solid foods in addition to breastfeeding? Okay. You know the answer, Madina? You? No. Madina. Okay. Exclusive breastfeeding for six months, and then after that, you can start introducing mere katono katono. Hmm? Afande, question seven. To maintain good health, how often should a child be fed? Four times. It's no less than three times, okay? Tell me three ways in which we can create a learning environment for our child to help them learn when they're very young. You bring football. Playing football, correct? Yeah. Play with them. Mm -hmm. by, uh, by talking to them. Talking to them. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, okay, the time just got you right there. That's true. You can play with them, okay? Or you can give them toys, yeah? Toys as they're starting up. Sweet. Question nine to Sarah. How can you prevent your child from getting malaria? By sleeping with him or her in the mosquito net. <laughs> Abdu Madina, who wants to take this one? Abdu, why is it important to make sure that your child washes his or her hands before eating? Very good. Correct. They need to wash their hands several times, especially with soap after they've visited the latrine, okay, and before they eat. How does living in a family that shows love and affection assist a child in the future? <laughs> no answer. It's important because if you show love to the little ones, then they will be able to show love and affection to other people when they grow up. Not so. How many times per day should a child be breastfed during the first six months? Three times a day. Okay, that you'd be underfeeding that, that little one. So it's eight times day and night, okay? That brings us to the end of this particular segment. Remember, after the break, we'll be finding out which three couples move on into the next rounds. All that after the break. Introducing a natural method for family planning. Moonbids, increasing the choice for couples to plan their families. How much do you know about your menstrual cycle? Do you want to be more aware of your own fertility? Talk as a couple about how to plan your family. Moon beads are a string of color-coded beads that represent a woman's menstrual cycle. The red bead represents the first day of the cycle. The brown beads represent days when pregnancy is most unlikely. 
and the white beads represent the fertile days when pregnancy is most likely. Moon beads are a natural and safe method of family planning. Simple and easy to understand. No medication to take. No side effects. Suitable for women with cycles between 26 and 32 days. Improves communication between couples. Affordable and long lasting. Moonbeads are available nationwide in pharmacies, drug shops, and general merchandise outlets like supermarkets. Moonbeads, the natural way to plan your family together. Brought to you by Afford, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and funded by USAID. scores and see which couple will sadly be leaving us. Everybody is a winner on the Good Life Show, so if you just come with me. Yes. Thank you very much for coming. Okay. Yeah, and all the best. Okay. okay. <laughs> So we only have three couples left in the studio fighting to win these lovely prizes. Well, teams, now it's the talk round. Good and effective communication is healthy for couples, especially for those that are taking care of children. So let's find out how our couples here actually do communicate to each other. Ladies, you are going to be given boards, and on these boards, You'll be asked to give answers to questions I will ask in bold letters. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to turn around and face the audience. And for each question that I ask, I will ask the ladies to write the answer. After each question, I will ask your husbands to turn around and tell us the answers. And then the ladies will be asked to reveal what they have written. Every right answer wins 10 points for your team, and every wrong answer, you lose two points. What is your partner's favorite hobby? What is your partner's favorite hobby? What is your favorite hobby? Ludo. Ludo? Yes. OK. Sara, Tulagi. Ludo, yes! Football. Football. Madina says Ludo! That's what we say, communicating, you lose two points. Arafat. Football. Football. Shamina. <laughs> Playing football, that's what she wanted to do, yes. If you had a boy, what would you name him? These are things you should have talked about long ago. Well, eh? Okay. Badi, sir. Badi, ru. I would do. Tukunane Shakira. Madina. Shakira. This is what we call communicating. I want to go get up. Katuntu. Katuntu. Yeah. Shamina. Katuntu. <laughs> Beautiful. You all win. You get points for that. Thank you so much. If your partner was an animal, what would that animal be? I be and what thing you do? Umulana gaman, ha, oyo, oyo, ha, ha, oyo. A cow. A cow? Yes. And Sarah, let us see what you say. A lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, you lose two points. You lose. A lion. A lion. Madina has a blank. No, Madina. A cow. A cow. Yeah. Shamina. Cow. <laughs> How many children do you want? Two. Two. Sir. Sarah wants to phone. No. <laughs> <laughs> One children. One? 
One from Medina two. Three. Three. Shamina. Shamina, no one see one. What was your child's first word? So I know you must have these answers. Rashid. <laughs> Mommy. Father. No. <laughs> There's two points. Father. Father. Medina. Mama. You yeah, are different from all of you. You lose two points. Mommy. Mom, Shamina. Mama. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> Ten points. What was your partner's childhood dream? What is it? What is that childhood dream? We must have talked to you about it. Time up. To build a house. To build a house. <laughs> Sarah is shaking her head. To get a car, Sarah. <laughs> That's what you told Sarah at one time. Abdu. Money. money. Oh, you wanted money. Mm. And Medina. What is it? A car. A car. <laughs> These are the simple things that couples should learn to share. It's a car. A car. A car. <laughs> Thank you so much. In this section, I'm going to show you some clips. You listen to what they say, and you tell me whether it's true or false. Whoever presses the buzzer fastest gets five points. Question one. A clean home prevents childhood diseases like diarrhea. True or false? Sarah and Rashid? True. True. That's correct? Child care is the mother's responsibility. True or false? True. It is false. Both parents should be involved. Young babies should be kept away from fire, chemicals, and sharp objects. True or false? True. <laughs> True, Rashid. Give the baby water and juices together with breast milk in the first six months. True or false? False. Correct. False teeth make a baby sick and need to be pulled out. True or false? Truth. Is it, true? it is false. <laughs> Children's hands need to be washed once a day. True or false? It's truth. It is false. You just don't wash the hands once. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> Uh, we've come to the end of this particular segment and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a commercial break and when we come back, which of these three is going to leave? Our last two teams will be going head to head um, for, their ch for their chance to spin the Wheel of Fortune and win these prizes. But there's more, a mystery prize. Are they brave enough to take this chance? See you after the break. Did you know that for as little as 24000 per month, you can access clinics and hospital treatment to a value of up to 12 million shillings each year with International Air Ambulance Healthcare Package? International Air Ambulance, IAA, making a difference to healthcare in Uganda through affordable healthcare memberships for you and your family. For further information, please call us on 031 200 400 or come by our offices at International Hospital Kampala in Namuanga Kisugu. If you're interested in sponsoring The Good Life Show or being a member of the studio audience, please contact 031 22 44 700. Welcome back.
back to the Good Life Show. And now at this particular point, we're going to look at the scores and find out which of these pairs is going to leave us and which two move on to the next round. For Madina and Abdu, we thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. Okay. Our third and final round is the acting round, in which we'll be looking at the things you can do every day to make sure your child stays healthy. Irene will hand you a card with an action on it that is related to child care. The action will be something you need to do to keep your child healthy. You will need to perform the action to your partner so that they can actually guess and interpret what you are doing. The bell will sound after 10 seconds to mark half time. So I'd like one of you to come and pick one of these cards. You're just supposed to try and make out it within 20 seconds what it is. You can read it. Are you okay? Are you ready? Okay. Don't look at me. You look at Arafat. These are things we've been talking about throughout the program. Sleeping. Hmm? She's sleeping. She's sleeping. <laughs> She's shaking her head. She's not sleeping. She's doing what? Washing the baby. Washing the baby. <laughs> She's time up, time up. Come back, Shamina. Shamina, come back. <laughs> you are not sweeping. What were you trying to do? Keeping children away from dangerous objects. <laughs> Shamila, no points, no don't points. Get point don't there. get any points. Therefore, we go to Rashid and Sarah. <laughs> okay. For the next don't look at me. You <laughs> should be able to try. This is part Ten of what we've been learning. Yeah, this is part of what we've been talking about through the program. What is she trying to tell you? Rashid. Time up. She's trying to tell the baby that keep quiet. <laughs> She's trying to tell the baby keep quiet, okay? Mm. <laughs> what are you trying to tell the man? <laughs> Him. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him that you tell him mm -hmm. we love our children. <laughs> You're trying to tell him that you love your children. Some action. Okay, no points. No points. Scored, Rashid. <laughs> Ten more seconds to go. Aswawaya. <laughs> What do you think he was doing? Anyone? Yes, mosquito <laughs> net. You are right. I think he was trying to call the children, come and we eat and drink. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> let's take a look at the score and see who will be our lucky finalist who will go through to the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Rashid and Sarah, who are standing right now at 67 points, are in second position, so you don't move on to the next round. <laughs> You've done a brilliant job making sure you protect the children from malaria, that they have a balanced diet. We have a hamper from a Ford, the health marketing group, and then of course that one. Thanks. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, you for coming. <laughs> Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune, Shamina and Arafat. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And the prize the pointer points to is the prize that you will win. Inside this special envelope is tonight's mystery prize. Once you've spun the wheel, I'm going to be asking you if you want to gamble the prizes you've won for any one of these. The question is, Irene. Are they brave enough? Some of the prizes in, available in this envelope are big prizes, some very big prizes, and some not so big prizes. So they may be disappointing. 
But before we move on, Irene, let's uh, get a summary of what we've learned today, um, especially about having healthy children that will help us have a good life. Abe and I have five questions for you. Each correct answer you give us, you spin the wheel and you have a chance to win one of those items. What is the national bird of Uganda? It's the Uganda crane. It's the crested crane. That's correct. You spin. <laughs> okay. Now, um, you know, slowing down, we have a mattress mobile phone. I have Ford. Hamper. Why is it so important for children to be healthy? To protect them from being sick. From, to protect them from? Being sick. Protect them from diseases. Correct. Woo! Ah, enough at that point. To protect them from diseases. Okay. Let's see what you're going to get here. We're slowing down to a ready. Can you save money through good child caretaking? Over mm to -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> That could be dangerous for a child to play with. Needles, rubbish, and razor blades. You got it out of her. Wheel of fortune, and you win yourself. How long should you try to breastfeed your child? Three years. For no points, Shamina. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Yes. Yes. Ah. Are you willing to gamble the mystery prize? Or we'll stay safe? Yes, hmm? yeah. yeah. If you choose to gamble. <laughs> gamble, my dear. Life is about gambling. No, gambling, no. my dear. I don't for gamble. But you don't what should they do? Should they gamble? No, sir. Gamble? Do you, you want? want? Only one answer. Okay. What do you want? To stay safe. Let me reveal the mystery prize you've just missed. No problem. You just missed a generator. <laughs> That's it from us here at the Good Life Show Studios at Ndera Center. Thank you, audience, for being very healthy and healthy. And also, please, for you people at home, remember to call our free telephone line with your answers for the question of the week. What are the three components that make a balanced diet? That's 1234 for Celtel and UTL and... 0800 200 200 for MTN. It could be you collecting our prize of the week mm -hmm. and even a brand new Toyota pickup worth 58 million shillings donated to us by Toyota Uganda and IAA Healthcare. <laughs> We'll be back at the same time next week. From me, Abim Jiri, and... Irene Krabakokas-Kembo is... Bye-bye for now! Next week.